Hello everyone and welcome back to the Sims 3 101 Dalmatians Challenge with all expansion packs and quite a bit of custom content and we have a cat on the farm so we're all about breeding up a 101 Dalmatians over several generations of both family and puppies and we have a stray cat who just showed up in the front yard so I think that's pretty cool I wonder if he's over here to start destroying the newspaper as the stray cats normally do we'll have to see but I'm really excited to be back you guys oh my goodness I have missed the rest Radcliffe Dearly family so badly and it has just been so busy and I've been sick again so it's been hard to get back to them but we are here and I'm actually even hoping to start doing 101 Dalmatians three times a week instead of just two so that we can spend more time with this amazing family because we have alien babies! Anita is pregnant! She is indeed pregnant with her next child which is amazing! So their seventh kid technically all together but then like their fifth biological child together so yeah there's lots going on there we need to be working on all of our puppies and there's quite a few updates to show you guys with the house but let's go ahead and have some of the family members start waking up I think we're gonna wake Terry up because he actually wants to adopt six strays so I could see him trying to adopt this stray cat and maybe like teaching it some tricks and then finding it a new home so I think he and Tisha would wake up and yes I will be showing you guys Tisha's beautiful new bedroom including her gorgeous moonstone which if you guys remember that's a gift from Terry but I'll be showing you guys their bedrooms in just a little bit for now let's go ahead and have Tisha wake up and take a shower and she has actually moved in to help out as the nanny of the house so hey hey nobody better be messing with that stray cat is it coming over to take a nap I think it is but she has actually moved in to help out around the house and be the nanny so I think she would try to come over and figure out a, like a food that she could make for everybody I think peanut butter and jelly sandwiches <laughs> might be the only thing that she would know how to make because she has like absolutely no skills in cooking yet but she really wants to help Anita out so Tisha as you guys know is Tisha Cagle and she is a family friend and she has wanted for a very long time now to become part of the Dear Lee family to live on the ranch to live on the farm with all of the dogs and the big fun warm happy family because she comes from a very very troubled family so I think she'd be super excited to, to come down and spend time with everyone and she is also the best friend of Terry and Terry has very deep feelings for Tisha and actually tried to kiss her yesterday and she did not appreciate that whatsoever so I think they need to take their relationship a little bit slower Terry what have you done to your bathroom up here oh my gosh I think he's destroyed it um he'll probably just ignore that and take an extreme shower until extremely clean and then we'll see if the cat is still here and have him go interact with that but while we're up here I will show you guys the new upstairs so adding in Tisha to the family, having Lyra who's going Lyra who's going to be growing up and she's our little alien baby, Roger's child with his alien friend Suas. <laughs> and don't worry, I'm actually working on a Google document that'll keep track of everybody. So if you guys need help figuring out who's who, you can look in the video description and from now on, I should have a Google document. It's just going to be kind of a work in progress for a long time, but I intend to update it when I have some free time and we'll have everybody's traits. It'll show you how many puppies we've had. Who the current like breeding dogs in the generation like are all of that information will be in the video description so you can click if you need help figuring out who's who in such a gigantic family but yeah Terry uh, <laughs> and his best friend Tisha uh, like they're really really close and with Tisha moving in and then you know Lyra being born and then having a need to be pregnant we needed more room and I couldn't really build upstairs anymore because of the way this house is built kind of like a cabin come on show it off yeah, the way this this cabin house, farmhouse is kind of built, it would have destroyed the entire upstairs. It would have just taken all of the roof apart and been a big pain in the rump to fix. So what I did instead is Terry now has his own bedroom upstairs and it's kind of blocked off. He has his own door and everything. So it can be nice and private just the way a teenage boy probably appreciates it. And his sisters are all now downstairs. So as you can see, we have Meredith, Andrea, and Emma all downstairs in their own bedroom. There's even room over here in the future for Lyra this is supposed to be her bed that Meredith's up in right now and there's even room for Lyra so we'll have to see what the new baby is if it's going to be a boy or a girl and if we need to maybe make a secondary tiny boys bedroom upstairs or if we need to expand the girls little like dorm style bedroom for another daughter so that's going to be interesting Tisha actually has her own bedroom it was the nanny's bedroom and it has been completely tripped out and very very decorated and we'll look at it in a little bit but she 
has her own little bedroom because she is kind of getting spoiled by Roger and Anita right now since they feel so badly for Tisha and her family history and where she's come from and they really want to take good care of her now that she is like in their safe family house and they they hired her in quotation marks as a nanny to have an excuse to get her away from her not so great family. So yeah, that's Tisha's bedroom. It's kind of all over the place because Roger and Anita are of the opinion she deserves to be spoiled after having such a hard life. And we'll look into the details of their bedrooms in a little bit. All right, so Tisha, this is the very first meal she's ever made on the farm. And now that we have more teenagers on the farm, we should be able to have more help on the farm with taking care of the puppies and with taking care of the chickens and the cows. We do have cows that I tend to neglect and forget. And then we can start taking care of getting a garden up and going too. Oh no, it's already filthy. That's kind of adorable. It's kind of adorable. It's like Tisha's making a huge gigantic mess making peanut butter and jelly because she doesn't know any better. Because she's so new at cooking and she's just going to try her best to help the family out. And I am so glad I don't have to roll random generators like we do in the Warrior Cat series every time the pork color changes because that would just be exhausting. All right, so she's done it. She's made some PB and J's. And we're going to come down here and grab a plate so Tisha and Terry would kind of have a moment to kind of chat with each other. It is a school day, so all of the teenagers and the kids will be headed off to school pretty soon. Rolly, are you looking for something? Are you digging stuff up, Rolly? Rolly, do you have stink clouds coming off you? Did you? Okay, maybe not. Oh, he wants to chase the ball. Oh, he does. He does have stink clouds, so he needs a bath. All right, so Roger will probably have to give him a bath later. All right, and there we go. There you go, Terry. This is kind of like, he must be excited because he's just turned into a teenager. And every time he wakes up and comes downstairs, he's going to have Tisha here. Like they get to spend some time together. I think that would make him very happy. Oh, what's that look for, Tisha? What's that look? There we go. She's probably like, what, you don't like my cooking? When he coughed like that. That's hilarious. All right, is she going to do her homework? Did she not do her homework yesterday? Is that what this is about? She did it. Okay, well, do your homework. Looks like Tisha really wants to keep everything kind of on the up and up, but it doesn't look like she's naturally that neat because she's just leaving her plate and making a mess. So we'll learn more about her. She probably comes from like a household where nobody ever cleaned up after themselves. So we'll have to see what Terry does. Terry's going to clean up. Oh, Terry, that's so cool. All right, and we'll leave her to take care of her homework. I don't think we have any, any high school homework yet for Terry. So he can't really do anything about that. I think he would kind of cover for Tisha and maybe try to clean this up. Can we move this anywhere? Can I move the food? All right, we're gonna move the food over to another counter because I think that he would discreetly try to like cover for Terry because he knows how what a like clean, neat freak his mom is. Or sure, he'd cover for Tisha. Getting all the names straight is going to be a little bit of a thing. And then we'll send him outside because he'll have to take care of some of the dogs. Like come out to do a dog check. And we'll see if the stray cat is still here. And if the stray cat is still here, we will interact with it. I don't see it right away. But adopting six stray animals is definitely something that he wants to do. So we'll keep our eyes peeled for that cat. And if we don't see it, we don't see it. But we will be doing that with Terry in the future, kind of running like a low key animal rescue. So he's gonna go and fill the bowls. He'll do that. We'll have him take care of the cows too, because that's probably like his responsibility in the morning. And then usually I think it's Emma or Andrea, one of the two sisters, usually goes out to check on the chickens. I think that it's just kind of whoever's in charge. I think Emma does it because she's kind of, she's kind of meticulous that way. But I think Andrea also likes checking on the chickens. So come on, wake up everybody. Time to come over and get some food. All right, grab a plate. Grab a plate. All right, where are all the kids? And then Emma is the only one who, oh, give a friendly hug to anybody, become friends. She's just like, I don't care who it is. I just want to become friends with someone. Let's go ahead, since she's not hungry, and have her change into her everyday. And then we'll send her out to go check on the chickens. So she's going to be the one, harvest the eggs and feed, feed the chickens and harvest the eggs. And then ask why a chicken is like a writing desk. 
<laughs> so Emma's going to be the one in charge of all that today. And as you guys can see, the girls' bedroom is really, really sparse right now. It's literally just their beds, not even a rug just yet. We'll probably be decorating it a little bit more in the future. But it does have these backpacks. These backpacks are from Around the Sims 3. And what they do is they allow me to put in the unique items that might really define the personality of each of our kidlets and tuck them somewhere safe. So for instance, this would be Emma's, I believe, backpack. And I think it's going to be empty because she doesn't really have much right now. But if she finds anything interesting in the world, like this Azalea, we can go ahead and give her the Azalea. And then she could even, ooh, I bet Emma would even take the Azalea out and put it out as a decoration piece. And then there's even the theater dressing room mirror that we can put in as her like memento from a field trip. And if we checked in on, I believe this is Meredith's backpack. I can't quite remember. What about this one? All right, this one is probably Meredith's backpack. So if we checked on her backpack, she has oh, the imaginary friend potion. That's definitely where she would keep it, where she stole all of the gemstones and sold them for the imaginary friend potion. She also has a daisy. I think the girls would kind of like to decorate with the flowers they're finding because it's spring. So we'll stick the daisy up here too. And then she does have Pat. Pat is right there. She's got a bunch of books. And then th that means that this one is going to be... Andrea's backpack. So Andrea is the one who normally gathers the eggs. I bet Emma offered to do it for today because Andrea is hungry. Okay, so we'll remember Andrea is normally our little egg collector. She has also got an azalea. We'll kind of move it around in a little bit so it doesn't look so funky. And she has a liquid horror potion and some paintings that she's done. Where's Bella? I'm assuming this must be like one of her favorite books to read or something like that. Um, one festival prize token. <laughs> oh gosh. And then, well, let's see, I'll go ahead and stick that in her inventory again. There we go, see flowers everywhere. So yeah, we will decorate the girls' bedroom to kind of add in a lot of their personality. Oh, and Tisha's like, maybe giving advice. That's so cute, she's like giving advice to the girls while she does her high school homework, that's so cute. All right, and Andrea's eating. Emma picked up three eggs. Good job, Emma. Oh, and is this in the way? Okay, I'll move that. This is actually just like a really cute little decorative Easter egg basket that I put down next to the chicken coop. <laughs> but it seems that it is blocking the chicken coop. But it's meant to be over here so that uh, we can just kind of be like, yeah, that's what they use to collect the egg. So I'm going to move this really quickly. There we go. All right, the chickens are fed and the bus, the school bus is here. Fooey, because I was actually going to, oh, that's so cool. Terry was going to bathe Rolly all on his own. I'm so proud of you, Terry. Oh, that's awesome. I was going to have Terry go and help out with the cows, but it looks like we'll have to have the kids wake up extra early if we want to have any of their help here on the farm. But we should hopefully be able to get Tisha planting a garden later today because it's spring now, so it's going to be warm in the days and they should be able to get a garden planted. And I don't really have any on the farm yet who is good at gardening so that'll be a pretty cool thing all right everybody is headed out run mr mailman run before rolly sees you he's so aggressive towards you get out of here run for it rolly don't do it rolly don't do it why do you have to do this every time rolly he's coming he's he's heard the mailman he's gonna come and chase this poor man you are so rude rolly you know that do you even have like a relationship with the mailman? I bet it's all just in the negative. He does. <gasps> He's disliked. Rolly, how could you? How could you chase the mailman like this every time? Because he has the aggressive trait. We weren't able to jump on top of it when he was a pup. And so now he has this aggressive trait where he comes and he chases the mailman. And you stink and you're covered in fleas. This is not how we take care of the animals here on our on our farm. Naughty. Naughty, Rolly. Oh gosh, there he goes. Run, Mr. Mailman! Moses, are you still stuck here, child? Oh gosh, alright. We're gonna make sure, we're gonna remove him. He's just stuck here. In Raz. Uh, I should just like, hey, 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 you need, you just need to be like reset. Okay, we'll, we'll figure out how to reset Moses in a little bit. <gasps> Look, some of the nanites. Oh, it feels so good just to play Sims 3 after doing our Warrior Cats challenge all the time. Just to be able to play again every now and then is awesome. All right, so just like that, our house is pretty much almost empty. Ooh, there's a grocery sale going on. Anita might have to pop over there and see if she can grab some fresh groceries. And she wants to eat some cookies. All right, did Moses finally disappear? Oh, he's still stuck. Okay, hang on one second. Chesting Jeets enabled Drew. Off you go, kidlet. Sorry, so sorry about the problems you're having in life. 
Oh, you left your bike. Oh, dear. Uh, there we go. All right. So he should be headed out. Rolly, don't you dare chase that little girl. She has done nothing to you. You leave Carla alone. Carla looks adorable. We should see if we can get her to become friends with uh, one of our kidlets. All right. So let's see what's going on. All right. Come here, Anita. Anita is just about ready to wake up. Because she's pregnant, it's going to be on Roger. Roger, I think it's time to, to get up. I'm sorry, sir. I just think it's time. You need to start taking care of your dogs. There's a whole bunch of them who are hungry and need fed. And we need to check their inventory. And we will be setting up a little, um, a little museum soon. I know I've mentioned that the last few times. But we will be buying this lot over here. We will be purchasing it. And then we will be moving all of the things that the dogs find over there. We'll be like taking pictures of the dogs. Setting up an agility course. Setting up like a training area for them. Because they are the backbone. Oh, look at them play. They're so cute. They're they're the backbone of the family farm. And I think Roger is going to realize pretty soon that somebody has stolen all of the gemstones that the dogs had collected for him before. And he's going to have to figure out what to do about that. Maybe like lock the attic so no one can ever get into it. We'll have to see. But yeah, they actually don't have as much money in reserve as they think they do because the things have been stolen from them. All right. So Rolly, you're about to get a bath. Pongo and Basil are playing. We need to train Pongo and Basil <laughs> because we actually need to get them trained up. Because um, until Basil is trained, he can't have a mate. And we need to get him his rainbow spotted alien dog mate, which is going to be pretty cool. Basil's future mate is going to be a alien spotted dog who's been genetically modified by aliens because that's where we do we do we sell the aliens or we sell the dogs to the aliens where they're revered as rare and wonderful animals who are extremely well taken care of but we also keep a normal uh we also keep like a normal population of dalmatians and that's going to be Rolly. he is actually going to be the heir to the normal population and what's going on with alicia alicia Kago kangle was mucho creeped out when she caught her former lover chance kangle hanging outside her house earlier <gasps> see this is why this is why we needed to remove Tisha from her not so great family. All right, so let's see. We're gonna get the dogs cleaned up. Wow, it's so surreal when all of the kids leave the house. <laughs> it really is, because all of a sudden it gets so quiet. And Basil's off to pee, and then once he does that, Pongo, why don't you see what you can go and sniff out? So we'll have Pongo go sniff out a couple things. He does need a flea bath as well. And then Rolly is getting a bath. Or at least he was. You took him to the wrong bathtub, Roger. All right, bathe, pet. Uh, I wonder if we give Rolly a flea bath, if that'll actually count. All right, care. Nope, don't brush him. Because then you're going to get fleas. We need to give flea bath. Oh, that's Basil. Basil, you're not quite who we were going for. Rolly, where the heck did you go? Oh, he couldn't get inside. Well, that's because you tried to give him a flea bath in the wrong spot, Roger. You're being a silly goofball. All right, give flea bath to Rolly. There we go. All right. Oh, and where'd Anita go? Oh, she's sitting and rocking in the rocking chair. <gasps> Look at her little outfit. It's covered in little lambs. I think she's excited about the last baby coming. And I do, I do think she needs to confront her feelings about the fact she wasn't so cool with, like, the alien baby being born at first. Look at those sunflowers in the window and everything. So pretty. I wonder if it's going to be a boy or a girl. I think Roger actually had the want for having a baby boy for a second, but he did want to have one more baby, have a child with Anita. Does she have any? Anita just wants to woohoo with Roger, eat cookies, and eat mac and cheese. So we probably should get to cooking. And then we need to take care of little Lyra. All right, she needs... <gasps> quick, quick, Anita, to the potty! Ah, what do you mean no interactions available? There should too be interactions available. Come over here and... uh. Let's see, snuggle. Did Lyra just... No, she's so close. We could... Hurry, Anita, come on. What do you mean no interactions available? Do we need a new toilet? A new baby a new baby toilet? All right, I can totally handle that. All right, got a new one. Saw the old one. Put it right there. We've never had a problem with using it before. All right. What do you mean no interactions? How can you not potty train this child? Is she already... It's not like she's already potty trained. Let's see, feed and high chair. What? What's going on? All right, well, let's move it maybe, I don't know, in, into anywhere. <laughs> Pony training the children is very important, Anita. We can't neglect this. There we go. Did just need to go in a new spot? 
Oh, there we go. Okay, we just had to like have Lyra up. All right. And meanwhile, Roger continues to try to go over to the wrong bathroom to give Rolly a flea bath. Ugh. This is not how I wanted to spend our time together, Roger. This is not how I wanted to spend our time together. All right, we'll send him over here and Rolly over here. But yeah, once the teenagers start getting home, it's going to be really in chances just perched outside of his ex's house. He's so creepy. It's going to be interesting to see what it's going to be like. There we go. We're taking care of all of the dogs and the farm. And the teenagers should hopefully be able to help us to train the dogs to give flea bath to Rolly. Rolly. Why can't you give a bath? Bathe, pet, Rolly. Come on. Okay, what's going on here? Do we need to come over here? All right, you guys, I might have to go for a second to get this fixed because this is just silly nilly. All right, come on, give Flea Bath to Rolly. Okay, we just had to get him out into a more open area. All right, now you two need to go bathe. All right, hey, Dusky. We've got little babies everywhere. All right, and Anita, how are you doing? Read the warlock of something something. Did you potty train the baby? I hope you did. All right, so she wants to go read the warlock of something. I do need her to read a new book so that she can finally read a book on the multi-tab. Just any book. She needs to read a book so she can just finally read with Lyra. Um, she needs to read a book she's not read before. Read White Mountain Haikus. I'm going to make her read that to dwell on the meaning of life and emotions and also to try to just finish this read 20 books want that she's had for forever. So little Lyra, how are you doing? You're going to go play with some toys, okay? Well, you handle that then. I'm sure you'll be fine. All right. And Rolly is such a stubborn dog. People were like, no, never get rid of Rolly. But he is definitely more aggressive and he's extremely stubborn. But hopefully if we train him, we'll be able to get rid of some of that aggression. All right, let's see if we can at least get all the kids home today. Who's trying to call Roger now? Who knows? Some sort of opportunity that might be trying to come his way. All right, and Anita is filling up the dog food bowls. You don't need to do that, Anita. You really don't. You probably need to be feeding the baby, if anything. Come on. Why don't you... Can you Can you go and, like, read a book on your multi-tab? Anything. Anything. Autobiology. Know your body. You know what? Why not? Maybe she's going to be taking her pregnancy very seriously. The formal dance is happening soon. Oh, gosh. We'll have to get back into the flow of everything with the Radcliffe Dearly family. But like I said, that's one of the reasons why I think we will be doing three updates a week instead of just two. Because I love this family so much, you guys. I mean, look at all the puppies running around everywhere. Anita, are you having a good time? <gasps> look at little Lyra. She's so sweet. There we go. This is a really cute little domestic scene. Oh, after school employment. Your school's work study program doesn't have time to find a job for you, so they'd like you to go out and find a part time job on your own. Get a part time job in town to, to improve your school's performance. His parents would actually say no. <laughs> Terry's parents would be like, No, we need your help on the farm, Terry. You need to be here. All right, so we'll have him show up pretty soon. Pongo found a gem. Sweet. Pongo, geez, where did you go? <laughs> so far away, Pongo. So far away. So he found a gemstone. He actually has been finding lots of diamonds. It looks like we have another mini dinosaur skeleton that we can put together. Sweet. Tish is exhausted. The teens don't take waking up early very well, do they? Man, managing the family farm is going to be harder than I thought. All right, but the Adidas pregnancy continues. Roger has finally, finally, finally managed to give a flea bath and bathe the very fussy Rolly, who's out of here. He's had enough of that. So we're going to have Basil hold still. Nope, Basil, you hold still for just a second. Because you need a flea bath. Oops, 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 you need a flea bath as well. I think Roger's just like, in for a penny, in for a pound. I already reek. I'm already drenched. Might as well finish bathing all the dogs. And we'll have to see how Tisha treats living at the Radcliffe Dearly Home. She's exhausted and stressed right now. I think she's feeling the strain of trying to figure out if she fits in. She probably feels like she doesn't know what unconditional love in the family is yet, but she likes being outside. Yay! So she would be like, oh, if I don't do this and this and this, then what if they'll they'll kick me out? So she doesn't know that she's safe here yet, but hopefully she'll figure that out soon. All right, and Anita's just having a laid-back day. 
I think she's just kind of accepted that the world is chaos outside of her little cocoon and that she's just going to do what she can and take care of Lyra as she can. In fact, she would probably stop pretty soon, Anita. Take care of baby, maybe. And I think Roger, <laughs> he's got Kana rolling in the puddle behind him. And I think Roger is just feeling super overwhelmed. Emma wants to go over to Crystal's after school. Sure, Emma, I could see you trying to escape this. I think Roger's just feeling super overwhelmed. He's now covered in fleas as well of all of this. And I think he wants Terry to get home. And Terry is exhausted and stressed, but he's going to have to help out. So this is kind of where we're at, you guys. Oh, and then I'll show you guys their bedrooms really quickly before we go. Just because I really like what we've done with their bedrooms. So with Tisha's bedroom, you guys saw the girl's bedroom earlier. With Tisha's bedroom, it really brings out her one with nature sort of traits. We have vines growing up the wall. They're very cute. So Tisha is going to be my gateway into having plants just start showing up all over the farm. Definitely, definitely, definitely. Because if you guys recall, her traits are loves the outdoors and vegetarian and she really loves plants she really loves being outside so that's what all this is about she's got like lots of plants here little plants over here her favorite color is kind of that limey green so she's got like a nice little bedspread she has the moonstone the pear cut moonstone that was a gift to her from terry right over there and then she also loves digitunes so she was given a little mp3 player for music so she can listen to music by uh roger and anita who you know are really casual about about it. The other kids may not have any treats like this, but that's because they're just trying to take good care of uh, poor Tisha and the rough life that she's had. They've got a really nice little like lime colored office chair and a nice little laptop that they reassured Tisha just comes with the job of being a nanny. So I could see how all of this stuff they've given her and the way that she's got these beautiful flowers, the Indian blanket flowers that she found when she was out walking with Terry. I could see how all of this would make her feel a little bit overwhelmed. Like, oh, what have I done to deserve this? So that's why her room is so tripped out. And that's probably also why she's so stressed out. And then upstairs, we have made Terry his own little little bedroom it's just a tiny little closet space but that's all the room we really have in this house and it, he has all of his little treasures here he has a small desk so that he can still do his homework up here if he wants to kind of some mementos to remind him that university is a possibility in the future as a teenager he's got his little backpack right here filled with all sorts of his treasures including a lot of the special stones and gemstones that he's found things like the polished geode we'll actually put that out because it's really cool he's got the tanzanite just the different gemstones that he's found on his own as well as the little nanites that he's been collecting uh, his mementos from his field trips as a child he's actually got his childhood teddy bear tucked up here too a termite and one of the emission blue butterflies that he's caught just in his room to kind of decorate things the gnome music box that his dad gave him is up on the shelf as well so he's got a tiny bedroom but it's well tripped out to show the details of his personality and i can't wait to see more of those details start coming out. So we're going to have to figure out the new flow of life here on the family farm and how we're going to manage with the huge family, but also manage with getting the dogs taken care of. New puppy is born. Is Perdita pregnant again? I'm trying to remember. No, I think she that was her last litter right here. Allison, Kata, and Dusky was her last litter. And yeah, hopefully now that we have some teenagers, we will be able to start taking care of keeping the dogs like clean and well-trained. And hopefully having Tisha here will provide a little bit of help for Anita, who is getting ready to have her next baby so yeah it's chaos on the family farm i love it i can't wait to be back in it and i will see you guys next time Bye bye